Welcome back to Shed Tune and welcome back to the garage. And today we're on a mission. We need to get the engine that we built in the test bed uh, and try and get it started. But first, I've got to tidy the garage up because there's absolutely crap everywhere. And as you know, there ain't a lot of room in here anyway. So we're going to get my TS1 out the engine cradle, rejig the bike so we've got a bit of room at the front of the garage, get this one into the engine cradle, get it all wired up, uh, get it set up and then see if it will start. I'm sure it will. Uh, but in the meantime, as you can tell, I've got a bit of tidying up to do. When things don't go right, they just don't go right. Another end can, and I know a lot of you already know about the first end can, but another end can came off Shed Tune 83 uh, while we we're out testing it. Insert clip here. There wasn't a lot left of the end can that was on Shed Tune 83. Um, I'll show you what's left. That's it. That bit. Oh, and that bit. The rest of it is God knows where in a hedge somewhere. So what we've done is I've taken the end can off of that one and put it on that one. And it doesn't look too bad. As you can see, it looks out quite nice. It's a little bit quieter. And yeah, works quite well. Not too bad at all. Only downside is with that suspension on, I'm worried about it hitting here and snapping off again. So. We might have to come up with plan B. Anyway, back to tidying the garage and getting that engine started in the engine stand. Oh, and did I mention, I sort of accidentally bought another scooter. Oops. Um, but when you see what I've got, don't laugh. When you see what it's gonna be, you'll be impressed. The new scooter is gonna be known as Shed Tune 69. Just had another delivery from uh, Lambretta upgrades, good old Chiggy. I ordered this at about five o'clock last night and it was here at 10.30 via UPS. You can't ask for better service really. Right, so that's the garage sorted out a bit better. I've got to put the engine stand together, make a few modifications, um, so the exhaust fits on, um, find myself some sort of fuel tank, which I'm sure we can do. And um, I think we'll be ready to go. So in case you're wondering, I'm pretty sure that this is one of John Beck's um, pieces of uh, fine work. Uh, I could be wrong, but because I've had it a little while, not used it much. So if it's not, apologies, John, but I'm pretty sure it is. So the engine's in now, but I've had to do a bit of first aid. I've now got a rubber glove on because I stabbed myself in the hand. In fact, now I think about it, I've got two odd hands. I look like Jeremy Beadle. Let's just check there's a spark before we put fuel to it. A new spark plug. No spark. Okay. Plan B. Let's just try this. Choke. Fingers crossed. Ooh. That sounded like it was going to 
gonna find it. So finally we've got a spark, we've got the engine in the engine cradle, uh, I've disconnected the, uh, the switch because I think that was one of the issues. We've got a fuel tank with oil going down, turn the fuel on, hopefully this time we will start and be running no problem at all. So that's the engine up and running, which is great news. Thanks very much for watching. Um, maybe give me a thumbs up. That really helps with the channel or a subscribe. Um, what else have we got to do? Shed Tune 83, there will be a test ride very soon when the weather improves. Um, <laughs> the new scooter. Um, already got plans for that, already got ideas. It's over at the other workshop with Dom and we're currently waiting to get that sorted, but very, very soon for that one. And I also had a box of bits arrive from uh, Germany. Wonder what that could be. You have to wait and see. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Bye.